just what I mean You too, T, keep it clean You see my boy, he like gotta made it Gotta made it Boy, that's my homie, ain't that right and graven Right and graven these negotiations between the Baltimore Ravens and Lamar Jackson. I, I know nobody's tired of hearing about him, right? Of course not. But anyway, um, as many reports and rumors and stories and this and that that we've heard, a big question that has continued to be asked is who has more leverage? Who, who has the upper hand right now when it comes to these negotiations? Some people feel like it's the Baltimore Ravens. Some people feel like it's Lamar Jackson. Some people feel like, hey, ain't nobody winning this whole thing right now. But let's look at this question from my guy, Dewan. Uh, and he said, everybody says Lamar has the leverage when it comes to the contract situation, but I disagree. Hear me out. Let's just say Lamar gets an offer sheet and the Ravens don't match it. He goes to a team that is terrible. And just because he's the high paid quarterback, they're going to expect instant results. If a team wanted Lamar, they would have came after him by now. Now, first, let, 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 let's, let's go to that first part first. So if he goes to a team that is terrible, just because he's the high-paid QB, they're going to expect instant results. With Lamar Jackson, yes, they will definitely expect instant results. And I think that they will get instant results. But even still, say, for instance, they didn't get instant results, he won. He gets paid. He gets his bread. He gets his money. <laughs> he gets a nice contract and one that he negotiated with whatever team that could be. So it would obviously have to be something that he accepted and he liked and he agreed to for him to sign an offer sheet with that team. So he will win based off of that alone. That will be a win for him and for the Ravens because they will get their two first-round draft picks. So both sides would win in that case. Now, in the long run, what would the Ravens do at the quarterback position? That scares me. <laughs> that frightens me, as a matter of fact. That is very, uh, very scary. Yeah, you have two more first-round draft picks over the next two years. So you get an additional one this year, an additional one next year. But <laughs> I'll still be very scared because with Lamar, anyway, um, it's, you you know, no, not know anyway. You know who he is. You, you don't know his full potential because you haven't tapped into it yet. But you've seen a lot of potentially great stuff from him. But now if you go the unproven route, that's that's a very scary territory to be tiptoeing around. So we'll see. Anyway. Um, he said, if a team wanted Lamar, they would have came after him by now. Hmm. <sighs> that part I disagree with because teams could be trying to strategize this thing to put the Ravens in a tough position. Um, there could be teams that wait until after the draft. There could be teams that want him now. There could be teams that don't want him now. But after the draft, maybe there could be teams that are waiting and be like, all right, Ravens are made there, their draft picks and whatnot. They just trying to size up the team. They done signed a couple people here and there and whatnot. But, oh, we got something for them after the draft because you got you to gotta sign your draft picks, right? So that's going to be some more money taken away from the Ravens pot from their salary cap. Um, and, and the team could be plotting. So it, it, it's, it's tough because it's one of those things that we won't know till we truly know. Anyway, um, he said, Lamar is a great talent, but... Oh, yeah, you know where this is going. Lamar's a great talent, but if I'm a franchise like most of the teams that needed a quarterback, they signed a cheap bridge quarterback, and they will draft and develop a rookie quarterback. Why sign Lamar if you know your team has more needs than quarterback, and getting Lamar won't guarantee you a championship? So why draft a quarterback? Why draft an unproven guy? It's the same thing, right? Just a different pay scale. We as Baltimore Ravens fans know everything that Lamar Jackson brings to the Baltimore Ravens. And they still, still do have needs, other needs on the team. But we've seen Lamar Jackson. While he's not the perfect quarterback, we know that. No, I mean, no quarterback is. But he covers up so much for the Ravens. He covers up a lot. So, yeah, you can have other holes on your team. You can have other needs on your team. But Lamar Jackson, he takes care of a lot of stuff for you. Now, my hope for him, whether it's with the Baltimore Ravens or it's with somebody else, I really do hope, I really hope that wherever he stays or goes, that it doesn't just have to be all on him. And not that it's all on him now with the Ravens, but a lot of stuff is on him. A lot. And not just regular old franchise quarterbacks. No, no, no. A lot of extra stuff that doesn't need to be on him is on him. 
And we understand he's special. We know Lamar's special. But let's try to make his job easier. I mean, that that should have been taken care of throughout the past couple of years. But anyway, um, he said Lamar won't guarantee you a championship. What quarterback will? I mean, besides Patrick Mahomes, really. I mean, he done got two of them already. But no quarterback guarantees you a championship. They don't. But anyway, um, he said the only team that needs a quarterback and will be ready to compete for a championship right now, in my opinion, is the Jets. But they're about to go all in for Aaron Rodgers. Man, whoever ends up being a quarterback for the Jets, boy, you're going to have a nice setup. And they still talking about Ezekiel Elliott. They still talking about Odell Beckham Jr. Like, they've been going crazy with it, man. They just signed McCole Harmon. They got Alan Lazar. They got Garrett Wilson. They not done. They already had a real nice defense. Like, Jets been going crazy with it, man. So whoever ends up being a quarterback there, Aaron Rodgers or not, like, you are set up nice. Still got Brees Hall at running back, too. Can't forget about him. Oof. Man. Anyway, let's continue. He said, if I was a GM, I would build my team, develop my rookie QB, and use all the cap money left to build my team around an inexpensive rookie QB option like we should have did de with Lamar. You know what? I am so glad that you said that. I, I, I am so glad you said that because I was getting ready to be like, well, that's what they should have done already. But you said it. So I appreciate that. And this all goes back to just th this whole situation is this. It, it's so much frustration because so much of us have been thinking about what should have been done, what could have been done, what we talked about in the present time, or well, when it was the present time back then, on how the Ravens should have capitalized, but they didn't. They didn't. And now we're here. Then there's this standstill, there's this impasse, so to speak, and both sides don't seem like they budging right now. So we don't know how this whole thing is going to end, but you got a lot of people feeling like, oh, man, now the Ravens, since, since they got Lamar Jackson on a franchise tag, they can't make any moves. They can't get this wide receiver. They can't get that player. They can't sign nobody since Lamar Jackson is on a franchise tag. But then you got so many people that forgot, like, hold up. This is the first year for the franchise tag. Where were all these moves before? Where were all these moves when he was still on that rookie contract? Where were all these moves in the last two years of his deal? Where were, the last, where were all these moves with the fifth-year option? Where were all these moves the last three years of the contract that he's been on with the Ray? Where was it then? It wasn't there. So I just don't understand how people have been getting up in arms, say, oh, yeah, this is Lamar's fault that they can't do anything. They didn't do anything when he was cheap. They didn't do enough when he was cheap. I can't say they didn't do anything, but they didn't do nearly enough when he was cheap. Now he's expensive and they looking around like, oh man, we, we ain't got it. You had it and you ain't do nothing. So now we in this situation and this whole thing like, I mean, we, <laughs> what's funny about this whole thing is that um, we talk about it all the time. Um, we had conversations back and forth and stuff. Uh, I know a lot of Ravens fans been saying, oh man, I'm losing sleep. It's stressing me out. I don't know what's going to happen. And then you go... <laughs> Then you go on like Lamar Jackson's story or something. He over there bowling. He over there bowling, dancing, just having a good time, man. And I love it. He over there taking pictures in, the, in them big red shoes. Just having a good time, man. Obviously, he's doing a negotiate or the whole, I would think he's still doing a negotiation or whatnot and, and handling the business side of stuff, but he's still having a good time. And that's what matters, man. Uh, anyway, he said, um, this is just my opinion. So yeah, oh that was that was a it was fun. It was a fun one for sure. Um and I appreciate you, Dewan, for uh, how you broke it down and everything. But yeah, I mean this 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 whole situation, this whole scenario is just whew, I don't even know what to call it, man. I don't know what to call it. I, I can't call it. It's just it is I can't even say it is what it is. Because we don't even know what it is. We don't know what it is. We don't know what the next move is gonna be, I'm sure, tomorrow. We're going to hear a new story, a new report on something. Because y'all know how I go. Like, if it ain't every day that we hear something new about this, then it's definitely Monday through Friday. We hear something new every Monday through Friday. So tomorrow I expect to hear something new. Like, oh, da, 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 and then we just have to go from there. But I don't even know what to say after that.
playing football. Okay. I'm a fanatic. Uh-huh. You see, we got the magic. Hey, yeah, my boys are magic. savage and open challenge and madden. <laughs> Let's go. Make him rage quit. Exit out the door. Exit out the door. Yeah. Use his favorite team with a Baltimore. Huh?